It was a time of shattered innocence, a time when South Africa's relative quiet was broken by a call to arms through to violence resistance to an oppressive system. In its aftermath, the distinguished veterans of that struggle never a tear shed for a lost youth, instead celebrated their successful movement for a free society. Among the pioneers was Dennis Theodore Goldberg. Goldberg was born in Cape Town in April 1933 to Lithuanian Jewish immigrants. My family were communists. I grew up in a non-racial household. I'm a first-generation white South African, privileged, and growing up in a home with people of all races, social classes coming to visit, aware that people are people and I have to do something, otherwise I'm responsible for it. Through end of university, modern youth society, non-racial youth group, Congress of Democrats allied to ANC as the leader of the Congress movement. When the horror of Sharpville took place, Goldberg had moved from student politics, Congress of Democrats member to key member in attempts to establish an armed wing in the African National Congress. In fact, the 1960 event saw Goldberg and his comrades who had been calling for an armed response eventually won their argument. In July 1963, Goldberg was arrested with Walter Sisulu, Governor Beggy and others following a police raid on the Lily's Leaf farm in Ravonia that was used by the ANC leadership to host secret meetings. Dennis Goldberg, the youngest at 31, and seven others were all being found guilty and sentenced to life. While the others were sent to Robben Island to serve their prison term, Goldberg went to Pretoria Central Prison, where, during apartheid, white political activists were jailed. For five years, we slept on the floor in thin mats, Windows, no glass, it gets cold in the winter, freezing cold. And when we made a way of closing up, they said, if you needed glass in the windows, the department would provide it, take it out, freeze. Uh, I have to say, those are bad years. Uh, I understand people's complaints about toilet buckets now, because you never get used to the smell of your own on his release after 22 years in prison, Goldberg went to London, to where his family had fled. Here, he continued working for his beloved ANC, serving as a spokesperson, even representing the organization on the United Nations Anti-Apartheid Committee. Decades later, Goldberg will be honored by the English capital for his role in fighting for justice. After I was released in 85, I came here to protest, demanding support for anti-apartheid. Now I'm being invited inside. Quite strange, you know. It's a huge change. It's a, it really is symbolic of how far we've come. As we go into the townships, they... On Goldberg's return from London in 2002, he served as an advisor to Ronnie Castrols, the Communist Party leader who was in cabinet as Minister of Water Affairs and Forestry. Pray silence for Dennis Theodore Goldberg. In addition to the freedom of the city of London, Goldberg has received numerous awards and honorary doctorates from here at home and abroad. Most notably in 2009, he received a national order, the highest honor South Africa bestows. This for his active role in the struggle against apartheid. A decade later, he was presented with the ANC's highest award, Isitalandwe. Not long after his retirement from active politics, Goldberg was diagnosed with lung cancer. After his retirement from politics, he spent his time appreciating art and music, which he could not at the height of his activism. And typical of his generation, he has no regrets. I have to say, a great moment in my life. Uh, I said to my mother at the time, the judge said, life and life is wonderful. Play on words, of course. But I did mean it, and I think life is wonderful. I've loved, I've been loved, that's even more important. I've lived through stirring times. I've put my life on the line and come through it. Uh, prison was not a great experience, but I grew throughout that time. For planning and taking part in an armed revolution for a free democratic society, Dennis Theodore Goldberg 
was robbed of some of his best years. Those trees of freedom he planted will continue to provide shade that will be enjoyed by generations to come, long after his death. Nung Pumalilum Tetwa for SABC News.